I want this. This actually needs to be studied. What other sports league has diminishing ratings as you get closer to the championship? She's the Tim Duncan of the WNBA. Hey, that's great. I love Tim Duncan. Great player. Doesn't sell shoes. Doesn't drive TV ratings. That's not what he does. That's who Aja Wilson is. I think exactly is one of the reasons why for the past 20 some odd years, nobody has cared about this league. Why there is certainly uh, an antipathy towards it. Aja Wilson just said, what about Caitlin Clark? You won't believe the drama that's brewing between these two WNBA stars. It's like a basketball soap opera and we're all here for it. But what's this talk about reparations? Let's break it down. You know how rookies usually pay their dues? Well, I just flipping the script in a way no one saw coming. The WNBA has always had its traditions and one of the biggest is how rookies treat the veterans. It's not just about respecting your elders. It's about showing you understand the league's culture. Normally, you'd see rookies taking the vets out for dinner or maybe buying them a small gift. It's like a rite of passage, a way of saying, hey, I know you've paved the way for us. But Aja Wilson, she's not playing by those rules. She's turned the whole thing on its head and it's got everyone talking. Imagine this, instead of expecting Caitlin Clark to follow tradition, Aja's demanding something completely different. She's asking for reparations. Yeah, you heard that right, reparations from a rookie. Now, before you start thinking this is some serious legal stuff, let's break it down. Aja dropped this bombshell in a way that's got people scratching their heads and hitting the share button faster than Caitlin can sink a three-pointer. It's playful, it's unexpected, and it's causing a storm on social media. The moment Aja's comment hit the internet, it was like someone threw a match into a pool of gasoline. Boom, instant reaction. Fans are going wild, trying to figure out what she means. Is it a joke? Is it serious? Is it a commentary on something bigger? Everyone's got an opinion, and they're not shy about sharing it. Some fans are laughing it off, thinking it's just Aja being Aja, always ready with a quip. Others are diving deep, wondering if there's more to this than meets the eye. Is she talking about the way rookies are treated? Is it about the expectations placed on new players? Or is it just a clever way to welcome Caitlyn to the league? The thing is, Aja's not just any player. She's a league MVP, a force to be reckoned with both on and off the court. When she speaks, people listen. And this time, she's speaking about one of the most hyped rookies the WNBA has seen in years. Caitlin Clark isn't just any rookie. She's coming into the league with a spotlight already on her, breaking records and turning heads before she's even played her first professional game. So when Aja calls for reparations from Caitlin, it's not just about dinner or a gift. It's sparking conversations about what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA today. I, I really do. And I think moving forward, I, I think that number is going to, as the playoffs continue yeah. on, I think that number is going to continue to come down. She's the Tim Duncan of the WNBA. Hey, that's great. I love Tim Duncan. Great player. Doesn't sell shoes. Doesn't drive TV ratings. That's not what he does. That's who Aja Wilson is. How are things changing? What does respect look like in a league that's evolving so fast? The reaction isn't just coming from fans either. Analysts are weighing in, former players are sharing their thoughts, and current WNBA stars are chiming in with their takes. Some are applauding Aja for shaking things up, while others are wondering if this is going to set a new precedent for rookie veteran interactions. And let's not forget about Caitlin Clark in all this. She's stepping into a league where she's already a household name, where expectations are sky high, and now she's got one of the biggest stars in the game calling her out in the most unexpected way possible. How's she going to respond? Will she play along? Will she flip it back on Aja? While the league evolves, one player is standing out from the pack. Caitlin Clark's not your average rookie and the numbers prove it. How is she rewriting the rules for first year players? Let's talk about Caitlin Clark. This girl isn't just making waves. She's causing a tsunami in the WNBA. Her college career off the charts. We're talking record-breaking performances that had everyone's eyes glued to her games. And now that she's in the big leagues, she's not slowing down one bit. Most rookies need time to find their footing. They come in, eyes wide, trying to figure out how to play with the pros. Not Caitlin. She hit the ground running like she's been here for years. It's like she skipped the whole rookie adjustment period and went straight to seasoned pro. You know what's really wild? The effect she's having on the league. We're not just talking about her play on the court. Caitlin Clark is bringing eyeballs to the WNBA like never before. Get this. A game with Caitlin playing pulled in 1.8 million viewers. On an NFL Sunday, no less. That's insane. 
To put it in perspective, a game with Aja Wilson, the league MVP, drew 900,000 viewers. Caitlin's doubling those numbers as a rookie. It's not just fans who are noticing. The experts are all over this. They're saying Caitlin could be the face that changes everything for the WNBA. We're talking about a player who could shift the whole narrative of women's basketball. That's a lot of pressure for someone who's just starting out, but Caitlin seems to be handling it like a champ. Now let's circle back to Aja's demand for reparations. I want this this actually needs to be studied. What other sports league has diminishing ratings as you get closer to the championship? It, it, it's all just a it's endless reparations. Give me yeah. things I don't deserve and white girl you you take a second a back seat to me. It's starting to make a little more sense, right? Aja's not just picking on any rookie. She's recognizing that Caitlin Clark is something special. It's like she's saying, hey, you're not just joining our league, you're changing it. Think about it. Caitlin's bringing in viewers. She's breaking records. And she's got everyone talking about women's basketball. That's huge for every player in the league. More viewers mean more attention, more sponsorships, more opportunities for everyone. In a way, Caitlin's success is already paying dividends for the veterans. But here's where it gets really interesting. Aja's playful demand isn't just about acknowledging Caitlin's impact. It's also a clever way of welcoming her to the league. It's like saying, we see you, we know you're special, and we're glad you're here. It's respect wrapped in a joke, topped with a bit of friendly rivalry. This whole situation is shaking up the typical rookie veteran dynamic. Usually, it's the rookies looking up to the vets, trying to prove themselves. But Caitlin? She's coming in with so much hype and skill that the veterans are the ones taking notice. It's flipping the script in the best way possible. This is just the beginning. Caitlin's only played a handful of professional games. If she's making this much noise now, imagine what she'll do with a full season under her belt. The potential is off the charts. Aja Wilson's playful demand for reparations from Caitlin Clark isn't just a joke. It's a chess move in a bigger game. What's really going on behind the scenes of this rookie vet interaction? Let's break it down. First off, Aja's not feeling threatened by Caitlin, not even close. This whole reparations thing? It's Aja's way of rolling out the red carpet for the rookie sensation. Think about it. When a league MVP calls you out like that, it's not shade, it's a spotlight. Aja's basically saying, hey, we see you, Caitlin. You're not just any rookie, you're changing the game. It's respect, wrapped up in a joke, delivered with a wink. That's how the pros do it. But here's where it gets really interesting. Aja's not just welcoming Caitlin, she's changing the whole rookie vet dynamic. Usually rookies are the ones trying to impress the vets. They're bringing coffee, carrying bags, doing all the grunt work. Aja's flipping that script by asking for reparations. Aja's acknowledging Caitlin's impact before she's even played a full season. It's like she's saying, you're already making us all look good. The least you could do is buy us dinner. This isn't just about Aja and Caitlin though. It's about the whole WNBA. I think exactly is one of the reasons why for the past 20 some odd years, nobody has cared about this league, why there is certainly uh, an antipathy towards it. That's what these young ladies, these fine feminist athletes seem to be asking for and almost begging for. But here's the issue. They don't want the ramifications of such action. Aja's comment is sparking conversations about how the league's changing, how are rookies treated now? What does respect look like in a league that's growing so fast? You've got to remember, the WNBA is evolving at lightning speed. Every season brings new fans, new sponsors, new opportunities. Aja has been a huge part of that growth. Now Caitlin's coming in, breaking viewership records left and right. Aja sees that and she's smart enough to know it's good for everyone. So when Aja calls for reparations, she's not just teasing Caitlin. She's inviting her to be part of something bigger. It's like she's saying, Welcome to the club, kid. We're going to do great things together. And you know what? That's exactly what the WNBA needs right now. It needs stars who can play off each other, who can create storylines that get people talking. Aja and Caitlin, they're doing that without even stepping on the court together. Think about how this plays out in the media. You've got headlines, social media buzzing, fans debating. Everyone's talking about the WNBA, and it's not even playoff season. That's gold for a league that's still growing its fan base. But it's not just about publicity. Aja's comment is opening up conversations about the league's culture. How do established stars welcome new talent? How do they balance competition with camaraderie? These are the kinds of discussions that help a league mature and grow. 
And let's not forget the fans. They're eating this up. They're picking sides, making memes, getting invested in the personalities of the league. That's how you build a loyal fan base. That's how you turn casual viewers into die-hard supporters. So yeah, Aja's demand for reparations might seem like a small thing. But in the world of professional sports, where every interaction is analyzed and every comment can spark a firestorm, it's a masterclass in league building. Aja's showing the world that the WNBA isn't just about what happens on the court. It's about the stories, the personalities, the relationships between players. She's giving fans something to latch onto, something to follow beyond just the scores and stats. And Caitlin, she's got the perfect opportunity to respond. Will she play along? Will she flip it back on Aja? However she handles it, you can bet people will be watching. That's the kind of engagement every sports league dreams of.